Hi there, Heidi Hanford from My Medicine Consulting, and I wanted to have a talk with you patients out there. Uh, I have a recommendation and some suggestions and ideas on what we can do to get through to the, the Florida legislature this session. So pay close attention. I have a great idea and I hope you like it. I'm going to do it myself. Uh, I think it's very important that the legislators on the Hill in Florida see the patients. It's too easy to lose sight of what they're doing when they just have emails. A text and tone is lost in an email and you don't always get the, the, the right point through and they may, they may even view your email as hostile if you're just trying to make a point. And so we want to keep it logical, rational conversation and very factual, but they need to know things. I mean. When Irv and I were at the Florida for Care winter event, there was a senator there, and she was actually on the insurance committee, and she thought that insurance would pay for medical marijuana referrals in Florida. Well, funny that is, I brought that up and I said, no, 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 and I just had it confirmed again today when I had to talk to my insurance company. They called me up after the first of the year. Hey, here's how it all goes, blah, blah, blah. I said, so, I got a question. You guys are asking me all these questions, now I want to ask you one. Are you going to cover medical marijuana referrals since Florida now has a medical marijuana law? And they flat out told me, I can't disclose that information. So, you know, it's stuff like that that we need to share with the legislative body because they don't know. They're drinking from a, a, a fire hose and with zero knowledge. So I'm asking you to share your knowledge and your plight and your story and why medical cannabis is important to you why you think you would be a good candidate and those type of things and here's what we'll do for you at my medicine consulting we're also willing to host your videos right here so you don't have to go and make a youtube video and a channel all to your own if you wish to by gosh go right ahead and do it but for those who may not want to do it your friends or family can help you make a video we'll host it we can give you a private link and not share it publicly if you don't want it out there that way. There's different ways that you can hide it or you can just make it public and we can host it. It's your call, whatever you're comfortable with. And then when the session is over or when you feel like you're done with your video, <coughs> pardon me, we can actually uh, delete your video for you. But in the meantime, you'll also be able to see, you know, if we do a private link on it, you'll be able to see how many people are viewing it. I can check that and, and let you know how many views we get on those private videos when you email your link out. So I think that's very important too to know that our message is being heard. And it's a great way to know because you can check by views. So uh, if you do make a video, here's what I recommend. Something just like this, okay, with a nice little background if you can do it. If not, hold your phone in your hand. But the most important thing is keep your phone horizontal like this. Don't shoot vertically, shoot horizontal. It's a much better presentation, okay? Also state your name. And I'd say if, if you have any fear whatsoever, just state what county you're in. Florida is a huge state and it's really hard to just go zero in. And you know, I really hope people will get past their fear. We passed this law. It's time to step out of the dark, step into the light and start having those conversations. And I'm here to help you with that if you need it. If you need help reaching out to your family or talking to them, that's what Irv and I have done for years. So please feel free to reach out. But <clears throat> back to video creation, name, county, city, if you're up for that. And also keep in mind, you'll be able to share this video with your city and county representatives as well. So when we get to looking at that, you know, you can talk to them about the zoning issues and the problems that we're going to have with zoning and those type of things. So, and ordinances and all the bans that are out there, moratoriums actually, we need to be able to fight to lift the bans and also get the moratoriums uh, get the ordinances in effect so that the moratoriums can be lifted and we can have businesses going to work and hopefully by September. So hang in there. I know it's a crazy circus zoo, but right now the biggest thing we got to do is keep the feet to the fire of the Florida legislature, okay? So that's my goal and I'm here to help you. Irvin and I are both going to help you. We'll guide you. If you send us a video and there's something wrong with it, we'll try to edit it, or I'll try to edit it, or we'll just ask you to make another one and give you tips and guidelines. So reach out, go to mymedicineconsulting.com, but even more important for the patients, go to floridapatientsandfamiliesunited.com. floridapatientsandfamiliesunited.com. We also have a Facebook group, which is Florida Patients and Families United, and get into that group and we'll counsel as well. Right now we're guiding patients to where to get the best referrals done. 
uh, helping them learn how to use this medicine and to be sure that they're being treated properly with this new industry because we only have six providers and and it's not really a competitive market to generate some great compassion and and we need compassion in this we've we're, we're, we're dealing with people that have a lot of suffering going on we're stopping suffering and we're trying to be compassionate so keep that in mind when you're working on this issue okay thank you so much for tuning in all the details will be listed below be sure to like and subscribe and share I really appreciate it and we're gonna help as many patients as we can just reach out and we'll help you thank you